Hi everyone, so this is going to be my audition video for the Starting Out Solitary collab. Starting Out Solitary is a collaborative channel that I have always really loved and that I've gotten a lot out of over the years that I've been watching it. Um, there have been a lot of really great people involved with it over the years, um, such as Alvine Green, Corvus Brooks Onematon, um, Avalon's done videos on there as well, and the Deviant Witches, who I love. And the current leader of Starting Out Solitary is my friend Tara, also known as Lippy Witch. And she and I have always gotten along really great, and she's asked me to do videos for Starting Out Solitary in the past, and I always sort of felt like it wasn't the right time for me to get involved in a collaborative channel and commit to doing regular videos. However, it feels like the right time now. My young son, he's five, and he will be going to big school next year, so he'll be going to school every day. And my little girl will be keeping her regular daycare days, so I'll have her in daycare a couple of days a week. So I can't see it being a problem, me doing regular videos once a week. And it's something that I honestly would really like to get into doing, doing a regular video on a set topic. Sounds like something that would really get me back into making videos and something that I would really enjoy. And I can't see that, I can't see anything getting in the way and it being a problem. So um, it's something that I would like to do. And... So Starting Out Solitary is, obviously, it's a, a channel about witches and pagans starting out on their own, so starting out as a solitary practitioner in the craft or in paganism or both, and there's a set topic every week, so there have been a lot of really great topics over the years, um, but Tara says that they've still got a lot that they want to cover, so I have to commit for at least six months to a year, which again, I think would be really great, and I don't see that being a problem. So, um, yeah, it sounds really fantastic. I've pretty much always been a solitary practitioner. My my experience with group workings is very limited. I've, I can count on one hand the amount of times that I've worked um, with uh, groups of other pagans and other witches and um, I, I honestly think that there's a time and a place for both like even if you are really heavily involved with the pagan community and you are really active and you're regularly attending group rituals or hosting them or getting involved with them in whatever way there's still a time to be on your own so there's a time for getting together with your tribe and your brothers and sisters in the craft and doing powerful collective group rituals and using your collective energies to um, have great and fantastic experiences but there's also a time and a place to just be on your own and to just do what you want to do what comes from the heart and to just be with yourself and your gods and goddesses or deities or spirit or however you view it and just do whatever you want and I've got a lot of experience to draw on from my experiences um, starting out as a solitary practitioner and the solitary practice that I have had over the years and I would really love it if I could use that experience to draw upon and to um, contribute to this collab channel. So uh, I hope that you guys like this video. Um, another thing, I think that if I was going to make videos on starting out solitary I would like to start using a pseudonym and the one that I've been thinking of is Pandora which was my witch name years ago that I came up with and sort of didn't use it for a lot of years it didn't really resonate anymore and now I've come to resonate with it again and so obviously Pandora comes from Greek mythology she was the first woman that the gods created and she opened up a box that she was told not to open and released all the evils and all the ills and misfortune into the world and then she closed the box up again and then it turned out that she had left hope inside the box so all the evils and the ills and all the bad stuff that we deal with in the world was out in the world and all she had to do was open up the box again to let out hope and I feel like that's pretty much the story of my life <laughs> and it's the story of what my magical path is all about. I've got this whole entire toolbox of, you know, empowerment and skills that help me and, you know, hope and all those good things that help me get by in the world. And all I have to do is to choose to open that box. So it's, it's a really great story that I really kind of resonated with all those years ago. And then for a, a few years, for some reason, I didn't. And I thought, ah, oh, my own name's good enough. I don't need to use a witch name. And now I feel like I want to use it again. And if I was going to make videos on starting out solitary, that would be what I want to do. Because it is a little bit more 
public. There are more viewers on that channel than I have on my own channel and I just think that that would be great. So what do you think? Do you think that I should use the pseudonym? So um, yeah, I hope that you've liked this video. If you need uh, any more information then please leave a comment down below and I can fill you in on anything that you need to know and I would be really excited about being involved with the, this collab. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!